Hello, YouTubers, and I was happy to watch. Hope you're well. Coming on in here with a video. Hopefully, those who wish to participate can, of course, leave video responses or leave comments down below, whatever you feel comfortable with, and share your games you've been playing here recently, whether it's a classic or a brand new game. It doesn't matter. This is there's no imperative uh, design to this said discussion. So. Feel free to share whatever kind of game you're playing, whether you're playing a classic on the PC or you're playing a, a brand new game that just came out the other week. It don't matter. It's all good. Fair game. So let's go ahead and start with the game I'm currently playing. This one's been out for a little while, and that, of course, is Scarlet Nexus. I've been playing this quite a bit. I got a hold of this because it was really cheap, and this is a game I said to myself, I'll get it when it's a lot more cheaper. I played it on the Game Pass on the Xbox and thought it was really good. And I decided to pick it up. Now I have an Xbox original. So obviously it's not the Xbox One X or anything like that. But of course, obviously, the Xbox One shows the signs of its limitations when it comes to handling games similar to this. Now, it doesn't mean the game can't play very well or is it, you know, what I mean, it's game breaking or anything like that. But every once in a while when you get a cutscene, the game kind of skips a little bit. And it's not the end of the world again, like I said before, for me. It just, it just happens every once in a while. You're like, ah, shit. But then you get over it and you keep playing. Now, the game reminds me of very similar to this following game right here, which I pre-ordered before. And that, of course, was Nier, or in this case, is the brand new version of it. Nier Replicant, which is, of course, a kind of a redo of the original Nier game. Now, when it comes to... Um, the reason why I'm saying this reminds me a lot of Nier because it does have similar hallmarks in terms of the gameplay. Now, it's not to say, again, it's completely taking from the recipe here for the original Nier or Nier Andromeda or whatever. It's simply doing its own thing. It has some visual novel elements. It has, you know, its own thing going for it, mostly. It just has a similar RPG action-ish vibe going for it and i think it's charming to myself and that's why i really enjoy it um that's why i really enjoyed the first near and this version of near and you know andromeda when i played a little bit of that i thought it was fantastic and so this is where we're at now in life me stuck playing action rpgs until i get old and gray so so far playing this, I'm not barely done with the first act yet, so I can't say it's like the game of the year contender or anything like that, and I wouldn't probably think this would be, but it's certainly a damn good game. Like, it has a lot of good things going for it. I've never watched the anime that came out for it, and they even advertise it like crazy in this. <clears throat> Apparently it's on Funimation, but... Again, this is not me promoting it, by the way. Um, I guess I kind of am, aren't I? Hope the check's in the mail, or not. It's okay. So, <laughs> long story short, though, really cool and fun game. Really enjoying it. Again, if you're a fan of anime or whatever else, it certainly, it, it tickles. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I can't stop saying that one. Uh, it basically meets the demand of every single uh, kind of thing you would like in an action RPG. It has some freebies you get in the game it has some usual content where you're exploring and you know it's kind of linear in certain aspects but for the most part it is fun to go through and play um the story again is that visual novel vibe to it which kind of goes for a while and you're kind of like okay shit you know for me in games like that like in visual novel style even cinematic style when it came to games even like metal gear solid 4 that's one of my major kryptonites when it comes to games. If a game goes way too hard on the story like that, I just, I lose interest really quickly. Or I try to get through the game as quickly as possible so I don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, when it came to Metal Gear Solid 4, I thought the game was amazing. But at the same time, I didn't quite want to keep dealing with all the cutscenes. I wanted to play the game because the gameplay was phenomenal. As soon as you got into those gameplay elements, you were just like, ooh. It was a Hallmark, and I understand too, it's a Hallmark card send-off for those fans of the Metal Gear Solid series. Completely understand that, thumbs up forever. But at the same time, it just, it it bothered me because I was like, I just want to play more game. I mean, I know this is like the story to, to close off solid here, but fudge, let me play the game. <laughs> but it wasn't a huge deal. I played through it, I thought it was great, but, and again... 
Would it be a game I'd play through again? Probably not. Uh, this one, however, has two different characters and you start off. I can never remember their names. The boy's a samurai, does telekinesis. She's a mage-like character. Again, I'm, I forget names really quickly. So, yeah. <laughs> Not a good, not a good explanation for this game. People are like, you're a fucking idiot. And I'm like, I know. But uh, basically, long story short, though, it had some replayability, has two different story arcs. So it's, again, that's where my other similarities to Nier come from. But I'm not saying, again, this game's ripping it off before everyone goes, you sign, you rip it off. No, I'm not. I'm saying it's similar to, but doesn't mean it's completely the same thing. It has ideas and concepts close to it but then of course there's even games before near who did the same idea where you play different perspectives from a different thing so even warcraft 2 and warcraft and whatnot the original games you played as humans you played as orcs you saw you saw the perspective from two different sides you made your own decision who was the righteous one who was the good guys whatever um even when you played world of warcraft at a time it was like you kind of took and choose your own side you just said like all right i'm alliance i'm horde whatever 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 um, when it comes to this one here, it's not, again, nothing to do with Warcraft, I assure you, but at the same time, it does have some good playability to it in terms of wanting to play it twice, so that way you get the second side of the story, uh, from the two different perspectives of the kids in this game you play as. Um, combat's really cool, you can, again, throw objects at bosses and enemies and all that, uh, plenty of this explore and to kind of navigate through. It kind of has like that Metroidvania vibe kind of to it, I guess, even though it's might a little bit linear, but you're still kind of exploring a Tokyo like like area that you're kind of going through and you're just, you know, finding little collectibles and power ups and items that you can use to replenish your health or give you a boost or do whatever. You can also upgrade your weapons and weird cosmetics, which have no imperative effect on your character overall. It's just that usual Namco. I'm going to wear a Tamagotchi on top of my head and it's going to look cute as hell. That's pretty much what that is right there in a nutshell. But overall, the game itself is really good. And it's going cheap here and there and all over the place. So again, if you like anime, you like action RPGs, all that good stuff. It's a really good game. You just got to be patient. If you're not a person that likes story and all that, just be patient with it. You'll be rewarded with some good gameplay in there as well. So there you have it. Like, performance-wise and all that with the original Xbox, it's a little bit slow when it comes to cutscenes. I own an original Xbox One. Again, it's not the end of the world for me. It's a whatever. But for those who are watching this, again, let me know what games you're currently playing. Whether it's an old or a new game, it don't matter if it's on the PC, it's on a console. Let me have it.